Most of you must be well aware of the fact that beginning from late February, middle of March onwards, India has been struck by struck down by a massive COVID catastrophe and the number of COVID cases in India have shot up and this is just a visualization from the magazine The Economist. They've taken data from John Hopkins University which shows that starting from February onwards and certainly after March there has been a sharp increase in the number of COVID cases in India after they had declined several months ago. So there was a peak in August and September 2020, a discernible decline and an unfortunate sharp increase after March 2021. I'm just going to acquaint you with some headlines before I talk about my a little bit of analysis that I undertook. So, these are painful headlines and India's new COVID cases have peaked. That was as of May 12, 2021 and it it seems that there's a substantial variation among states and so on and cases are expected to increase in some areas and this particular COVID crisis has battered India's aspiring middle class. And obviously discussing the economic ramifications, that's beyond the scope of what I'm going to talk right right now. But as you can see, there has been an absolute horror and a new second wave. It hit both Delhi and Mumbai. Now Delhi is the political, New Delhi is the political capital of India, whereas Mumbai, previously known as Bombay, is the financial capital and uh, essentially in April, well starting from late March onwards, the number of cases surged to a record high in two of India's largest cities, New Delhi and Mumbai respectively. In Delhi, as of May 12th, 13,000 new cases were recorded in one single day. And whereas in Mumbai, there had been an increase, there has been an increase in the number of cases in the state of Maharashtra where Mumbai is located. But the number of cases, they seem to be in a slight decline as of early slash middle of May. Now there has been there is a distinct lack of data in India which is I I suppose which is getting in the way of tackling this huge catastrophe but there's one thing that people have been tweeting about the corona crisis so you have People have taken to Twitter to talk about their corona challenges and their issues. So you have a number of hashtags devoted to India's fight against corona. So you have a hashtag India fights corona, unite to fight corona, stay safe and so on. So basically the civil society has been very active on Twitter and with so much confusion and lack of data in so many places and the general unreliability of data, I simply decided to explore India's COVID catastrophe in tweets. So yes, I went right in and I scraped data, I scraped tweets from Mumbai and New Delhi from the two cities. And this is what my preliminary analysis shows. So, this is what happened. I examined these tweets for a couple of words that are trending a lot on Indian Twitter. Plasma, there's a short, uh, there's a shortfall of plasma. Vaccine, again, India seems to be 
seems not to have enough vaccine. There has been a massive, massive oxygen shortage and people have died from the lack of oxygen. This is the medicine which is needed, Remdesivir, again a shortage. And my preliminary analysis shows me that there was absolutely no mention of these terms, well, very little mention of these terms till early April 2021. And if you remember the initial graph that I showed you, there had been a decline in COVID cases in India up to, well, up to six weeks ago. And it seems that the first mention of vaccines, it right, started coming in only after the 6th of April 2021. And suddenly on 27th, well, a little before that, there had been a sharp increase in the number of tweets that were speaking about, you know, almost 3,500 tweets. They were talking about the vaccine and a pretty sharp increase in the number of tweets and talking about oxygen. They reached a peak a bit later, around the 30th of April, almost 3,000 tweets were suddenly talking about oxygen. From that point onwards, so in early May, as you can see, the number of mentions, number of tweets mentioning these terms has declined. And this does correspond with a general decline in the number of cases in Mumbai. But the tweets of New Delhi, they paint a slightly different picture. So it seems that unlike Mumbai, the mention of vaccine had been there throughout, starting from January onwards. And, you know, the, there had been short spikes, you know, 200 tweets in early January itself, which discussed the vaccine and then a decline. And then there was this peak starting from the 2nd of April. And it seems obviously the talk about vaccines, it has only increased. And starting from early April, again, more and more tweets were mentioning plasma. And it seems that the number of tweets mentioning plasma has increased as of 30th of April and doesn't show any signs of coming down. And most worryingly, the number of people talking about oxygen, so, you know, throughout January, February, there were no tweets talking about oxygen. And suddenly from the 9th of April or thereafter, the number of tweets talking about oxygen started increasing. There was a rise by the 23rd of April, a decline, followed by the number of tweets reaching their peak around the 30th of April. So it seems that a lot of people were talking about, or a lot of tweets were talking about oxygen, followed by a decline. And then what it what seems to be a slight increase in the number of tweets. So all the search terms that I examined, oxygen, plasma, vaccine, then the number of tweets that seem to be mentioning them after undergoing a decline seem to be increasing after the 30th of April. And yes, indeed, New Delhi's COVID crisis, I mean, at least the shortages, they have been cutting deeper since the beginning of May. So while it seems that Mumbai may be seeing a reduction in the number of COVID cases, in New Delhi, the situation is quite dire and seems to be getting worse. And while these are only a few tweets, so I had 30,000 tweets from New Delhi and 30,000 tweets or thereabouts from Mumbai. So it's a very small sample. And Twitter is not the best way of collecting data. But it does seem that the Twitter trends are mapping on to what you see in real life. And so now the million dollar question is that Obviously, up to what extent can Twitter support, well, you know, support disaster management and tackling pandemics and stuff. So that's worth exploring. But right now, even a limited number of tweets do seem to be mapping onto what the media is reporting about these two cities. And here is hoping that the situation gets be better as soon as possible.